Hello guys! I'm filming another little haul. A little little haul. I'm sorry, I film way too many hauls. I'm a shopaholic, I can't help it. So, I mean I can help it, but I don't help it because I don't. Um, one little problem, I already took out the things all out of like their packages and stuff. If that's okay with you guys. Wasn't really a big deal to me, but I mean I like to just keep things with tags on and stuff. <sighs> sorry, my mirror was pissing me off. I took them all off because I didn't think I was going to film this video, but then I was like, yeah, you know what? I have nothing to do. Well, I mean, I do. I have homework, but, you know, YouTube first. Bad clears Bad Yeah, so I don't know where the tags went, but, um, and I threw out the receipt. So I'm just going to quickly go through the stuff before my mom comes up and sees me not studying. First thing I got, I actually went to a grocery store. I think it's local. So I'm not going to say the name of it. But they had like a big section that was like a dollar for a lot of the things. And a few things that were a buck. I was like, you know what? I would actually use. So I got a few things. So I got these two headbands. This one and this one. They're little bows and they're black. And then this one's white. And I don't know. I find that they're really cute. I mean, this could like make any outfit more preppy and polished and cute. And then the black one just looks a little bit more awkward. But I mean... I'll do. So I got those two for a buckaroo. Next I got another two headbands, but these are more like the stretchy-er kind. So I got this brown one. Then I got this nice like patterned one. I actually really like the patterned one. That's kind of the only reason why I bought it. I just wanted the patterned one. I didn't really care if the brown one came with it. I don't know. I find it's really cute. It's really like simple and cute. Like I say this in a lot of my videos. If you see me in this outfit, I pre-recorded another video, my February favorites, and then this, which will probably be uploaded after. So, you know why I'm in the same outfit now. Next, I got these few little things. I really wanted, like, um, not, what's it called? Like a separating pick. I think that's what it's called to, like, brush through tangles and stuff. You see, it's really more for, like, people who have perms. But I found three for a buck, which I was like, awesome, I don't really need three, but I mean, it's always good to have extras. So I got a blue and a burgundy and a black. So this is what it looks like. So it's kind of like when you get out of the shower or something. I don't know. By the way, guys, I'm not wearing any foundation today, so my skin's a little awkward. I'm using natural lighting, and I just have mascara, eyeliner, and a little bit of a Benefit lipstick. That's all. So yeah, I got these three, and I've, I've already tried out these, but I haven't tried out the headbands yet. And I, this is like two weeks ago I got this stuff. got that from the grocery store. Next, I went to Sally's. I know, I just went to Sally's, but I went back. I mainly went back for a hair extension fusion hook, but it was about five bucks. So I ended up getting this because the first time we went, we got the feather hair extensions on sale for $4.99 or something. Um, no, sorry, $7.99. My sister just put her blue one in her hair, and I'm going to put mine in after this week. I can't tell you the reason why, but I'll put it in after this week. My sister asked them, is this all you need? And they're like, yep, so we went home. We watched the video, had to put it in, and we realized you need this thing in my jiggy. And um, so I had to go back a week later and get it. So it's, it's just like a little hooky thing. The lady said you can also use a sewing needle because if you're only going to put in a feather hair extension once, there's no point of buying this tool. But we bought the tool anyways because we didn't want to deal with that. Next, I finally wanted a teasing comb from Sally, so I might as well. P I might. I said to myself, I might as well pick one up. I can't go in at Walmart. That's like this because this is the one I wanted. Um, this is about six bucks, and this is the brand Tease by Philips. So it just looks like a zot. My mom's like, that's a little expensive. Why wouldn't you get a cheaper one? But I mean, I can't find these anywhere. So Walmart, they don't have this like kind. They have rat tail combs, but not like this. So I was like, mom, this is the best deal you're going to get. So she's like, okay, fine, whatever. So I got this. And I finally got like a makeup brush roll from Sally's because I couldn't find any at Walmart or Shoppers Drug Mart. So I said, might as well get this one. There's one left. It's by Face Secrets, the brand. Um, my sister also has two makeup brushes from there, which are great. So it basically just holds a bunch of brushes. I think eight. It has like two bigger slots to put it in, and then it has your smaller ones. So it that fits in there, and then like this guy fits in there. And then we'll just grab a few more. Let's try this one. Does this one fit in here? Ugh, it's too fat. This guy got to lose some weight, man. Oh my gosh, these guys look like twinsies, except this one's like a bigger and this one's like a smaller. So yeah, basically you just hold eight brushes. And I mean, I needed a brush roll like this. So when I go on vacations or when I stay over at a friend's house, not that I usually bring my makeup, I'll tell you the truth, I bring sweatpants or I just wear my pajamas when my mom come pick, comes and picks me up. I know, 
typical Clarissa. So even when I go to my grandma's when I visit for like a week or so, I always have to put my makeup brushes in a plastic baggie. Yeah, that didn't work because when I put it in a plastic baggie, this the plastic baggie wouldn't be big enough. So this brush is my Quo um, Crease Blender brush, and it would like bend against the baggie, and I don't want that to happen to this. So this is perfect. It like protects the brushes because it has this little like flap to put over it, and then you put it like this. And I first I didn't know how to tie this, and then you just. Put this one around and this one around and then you tie it together and you put a bow. How pretty. Yeah, um, I wanted to get like a cheaper one because this one was like 12 something was the last one left. Because I, I don't think they usually like restock on these kind of things because not many people buy them. But I know me, I was coming in, I was charging it, I was like, okay, I need to get a teething brush. I need to get the fish hooky thingy. Um, and I have to get my makeup brush roll and then I was like hey, you know what I can't find the makeup brush roll anywhere I might as well get this one I don't care how much it is eventually if I get Sigma brushes I'll have the if I get the make me cool or make me crazy or make me blush or make me classy set it will have the like um, container to, uh, that'd be easier to travel with but for now I have this and this is perfect because I just have a bunch of drugstore brushes that I just need to slide in when I'm traveling. So yes, that is all for this haul video. I hope it's not too long. Okay, so I will edit this and I will see you guys in my next video. Comment down below the request you guys have. Follow me on Twitter, like I always say. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye guys.